The statue is based on a quotation by Vera Britton, which she included in her book, The Testament of Youth, which is a most famous book. Um, and it's based on a quotation about her coming during the Second World War to the dentist in Newcastle under Lyme. And after being to the dentist, she came and sat on a bench in the Brampton and thought about the war that was happening, that was raging in, um, in Europe and how difficult it was to sit there in the peace under the trees and to imagine that reasonably close to her, men were dying. Um, so we based the statue on that. It, it was never meant to be Vera Britton herself, but she is who people want her to be. She's meant to be sort of um, an every woman type, type of figure. So she represents, yes, Vera Britton, but also she represents nurses, she represents uh, factory workers, munitions workers. She could be somebody who worked at Enderley Mills, which is just over the hill from the museum, making uh, First World War um, uniforms. So she's meant to be a, a, an every woman figure, and she's also re meant to represent not only women who suffered and worked during the First World War, but in all conflicts since. Any woman who suffered during war, and you know, one of the sort of symbolic things of that is receiving a letter, isn't it? So we wanted to place a letter in her hand, um, just as a symbol, really, of, of um, what women went through and the women's sacrifice, you know, because their sons, their husbands, their uncles went off to war and some of them didn't come back.